Senator Rogers to present the resolution. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam President and uh, members of the Senate. If I may have your uh, undivided attention, that's my teacher hat I'm, I'm putting on there. Uh, but it's, it's, I think it's an, an extremely important uh, resolution that I have before you today. And it, it's a resolution uh, preserving uh, Gary Roosevelt's athletic program. I think many of you are um, aware of the fact that uh, Gary Roosevelt is now a turnaround school. And um, so these, they have turnaround school operators that come in and assess a school looking, looking at the curriculum and then they come up with a plan that they present to uh, the Department of Education and to the State Board of Education in terms of how they proceed. Now, during uh, the observation year, which is this very first year, uh, the uh, turnaround school operators will decide uh, based upon capacity, understanding of the well-established programs that benefit both students and the community. These things will be uh, taken into consideration. And uh, so there uh, has been uh, at least some public statements by Edison Learning, that is the turnaround school operator, that perhaps the uh, athletic program at uh, Gary Roosevelt is up in the air. I think all of us are aware of uh, the part that athletics play in a community and the part that athletics play in the life of uh, athletes. Uh, sometimes it's that, that school competition that brings a community together. Sometimes it's uh, the performance of an athlete that gets him to have a college scholarship that he would not be able to get. And so these things are very uh, important, especially to a school like Gary Roosevelt. I'm not too certain whether you're familiar with the, the history of Gary Roosevelt, but um, Gary Roosevelt was built and uh, opened in 1930 uh, in Gary specifically for black students. Uh, there had been some problems in terms of their receptivity in the other schools in Gary, and so this school was built especially for them and for us. Uh, Lee Calhoun, who was an Olympic hurdler that, uh, that I grew up with uh, in public housing, and uh, he uh, eventually uh, uh, became extremely uh, famous as a hurdler. And uh, in fact, my brother, who went to the University of Iowa, was so taken with uh, Lee Calhoun that he started participating in athletics. And, and in effect, what happened was my brother got a scholarship to the University of Iowa, which allowed me to be able to go to college. And so those are some of the things that uh, I think happen in, in not only in a city like Gary or a school like Gary Roseville, but also it happens in some of the other uh, communities around the state. I'd like to quote uh, Dick Barnett, who played 14 seasons in the NBA and won titles with both the Knicks, with the Knicks. And he said, it's a devastating decision that could have a terrible impact, said Barnett who has a doctorate in education from Fordham University. And of course, he was on uh, the 1955 team at Roosevelt that won a state championship. Uh, of course, in the education committee, we have been studying and talking about uh, class basketball. And so I approached Mike and I said to Mike, I said, you're talking about basketball, class basketball. And I said, you know, back home at Gary Roosevelt, I'm talking about basketball period. The community should be involved in this and uh, when I look at community and some of the definitions of community, it's said that its uh, members often have a common cultural and historical heritage. And I think all of us uh, in Indiana, no matter what kind of a school you come to, urban, rural, black, white, uh, that is something, that is a tie that, that binds. Um, so I, uh, I'm wearing my black and gold today. Gary Roosevelt's colors not produce, uh, Senator Alton. 
<laughs> and uh, I hope that you will join me uh, in uh, saying yes to this resolution. Thank you.